Hi, me again. You know, on Monday this week, it was 14 years since the death of my late brother, John. I wonder how John would be handling this COVID crisis. Hopefully, probably the same way as us, uh, putting our heads down, our backsides up and working as hard as we can. This week has probably been my most difficult week and the reason for that is that we actually started cutting down our hours of some of our staff. Not all of our staff, but some of our staff. And cutting down hours means cutting down wages. And out here in the southwest, that is obviously a problem for many. Uh, there are people that have mortgages, they are single mothers that are looking after themselves with only one income, and it's extremely difficult. One of the hardest weeks of my, my career. Overall, though, I've got to say that it's been accepted widely, although not universally, by our staff. Nevertheless, it's all going in the right direction for the right reasons. During the week, I had the privilege of sitting in on a meeting with the Premier and uh, we were talking about COVID and how it impacts the regions. And uh, some questions were asked of the Premier. She acknowledges that not everything is being done perfectly, but they are making decisions on a day-to-day -day basis and doing their best. And some of the decisions are being reviewed on a regular basis because they may need to be changed. So she said they're under constant review and they too are working very hard. I'd also like to say a few things about our staff. Our staff have been loyal absolutely through all of this. And we're going to try and repay that loyalty to them by coming out of it in the end better than we were. You know what? The other thing that's been good is that I had a week uh, spending a bit of time with my new granddaughter. And I'm going to take the liberty, this is the last time I'm going to do it, because I think it's a little bit self-indulgent, of showing you a photo, if it's going to work. So here's a photo of uh, little Bowie, really strange name, don't you think? Little Bowie with her brother Lennox, a big brother Lennox. So, whoop, get it right. Well, I did say she's probably the most beautiful little girl in the world, and I hope all of you agree. That's it for me today. Um, as usual, look after yourself. Stick to the rules, even though we are easing. Look after yourself and look after those around you. See you again next week.